Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. This is my new Audacity Auto-Tune tutorial. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, I'm going to show you a plugin no one else is talking about. I haven't seen this anywhere, and I think it's epic. It's a great way to auto tune in Audacity. Best thing is cross platform compatible, just like Audacity, Windows, Mac, Linux. Let's take a look. There's a link in the description to this video to take you to the download page for Graylon 2, which is a live voice changer, including, yes, you guessed it, auto tune free edition, just click to download it and run the installer. Now, make sure you put the plugin into the right directory for your platform so Audacity can see it. That's the important thing. Add, remove plugins, you can go through and you can enable it here in the manage plugins section. Uh, so you'll want to look for it. It's uh, Graylon 2, there it is, right there. And you can see I've enabled it. You might need to click it and enable down here to get it to show up in your effect menu. When you go into the effect menu, there it is, Grail on 2. Let's see how it works. This is Auto-Tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. Okay, just a very simple recording. Doesn't sound Auto-Tune. This is Auto-Tune in Audacity. It's just me speaking. But Grail on 2 will change that. Effect, Grail on 2. Boom, we've got this amazing plugin. And just as it is, it's not going to do much. Let's preview. This is Auto-Tune. And I might actually just select the area that I want to focus on so I can really get a good preview. This is auto-tune in... See, it's working there. It's reading the waveform, which is great. Now, I want some basic auto-tune. Whack this up. It's just the enable dial. Put it on 100% and you'll get a T-Pain style super auto-tuned robotic effect. Dacity, I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. There you go. So you see, it sounds great. This is auto-tune in Audacity. If you want to auto-tune to a particular note, you can switch off the other notes here. So I'm going to just auto-tune to C, and let's play that. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. Okay, and you can hear it's going up and down in octaves as well. So I can change the snap range to be only one octave, like that. This is auto-tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. There we go. So you can you can hear how it's auto-tuning. We've got a pitch shifter as well. We can move around. This is auto-tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. Really, really cool stuff. And the other one here is Inerta. You're going to want to play with this. This is going to do something cool as well. This is auto-tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. Okay, and let's enable this. This is auto-tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. Now you can hear how it's it's diving up and down octaves, so I might just reduce this that. This is auto-tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. So as you can hear, just by tweaking these three dials really on this plugin, you're getting a good auto-tune sound on your voice. So enable, snap range, reduce that if it's kind of jumping up and down octaves, and inerta makes you sound really robotic. You've got a gain knob here to turn it up and down, and a mount knob and a dry mix. So if I want to bring the original voiceover back in, I can do that. This is auto-tune in Audacity. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. So you get that robotic kind of double-tuned effect if you bring that back in. So much you can do here. Also, you can open this little three-bit hamburger menu, and you can find some factory presets. So we've got the uh, simple Octiva. This is auto-tune in Audacity. And you can hear a double-tracked kind of robot voice in the background there. Uh, we've got, if you know the key you're working in, you can work with a certain key. I think it's really cool. I'd like to do more. And, of course, there is, well, one of my favorites. You've got, like, younger speech. You've got robot correct, which is going to be extreme. This is auto-tune. And let's go for younger speech down here. 
in Audacity. I think it's really cool. And that kind of pitches it up a little bit. So you see lots of fun when you've got the kind of desired effects you want to go for. Just apply it. Boom. It's done across there and it's really, really easy to use and download. Like I say, link in the description to this video for that awesome plugin. Spend hours auto-tuning. And of course, if you're singing, it's going to auto-tune your singing as well as your speech. So many use cases for this plugin. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music Radio Creation.